guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time, my name is Steph. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Today's video is going to be a tutorial, review, and swatches of the new Jaclyn and Morphe palette. This has been long awaited. They've been working on this for about two years, and it's just super exciting. I love whenever they do the collabs, and this palette just looks so beautiful. I couldn't wait to play with it, and I really wanted to show it to you guys as soon as I can. Hopefully this goes up before the launch date so you can get an idea of of all of the shades and kind of what I think about it and see it in use. So I did this eye look, which I love. This is just kind of right up my alley. And I did a look like this similar on Instagram last week and you guys really wanted a tutorial for it. So this is pretty much my version of it with this palette and I think it's just beautiful. And yeah, I really am so excited about this. And I had filmed another video after I had done my hair last week, but that is getting put on the back burner. So this one will go up first. So we will go ahead and address it. I did lighten my hair, I love it. It's just time for a change. But if you would like to see what I think about this palette and see it in use, then just go ahead and keep on watching. I will have timestamps down in the description box for the tutorial and the review and the swatches. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump on into it. I want you to show I'm starting out with the shade Silk Cream, and this is such a perfect transition shade, especially if you have my skin tone. It felt like butter. It was so crazy smooth. And I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush and going all the way from outer corner to inner corner with this. This is going to be my new everyday just a transition shade. It's so easy to work with, and like I said, it's perfect if you have my skin tone or something similar. Next, I am moving into one of my favorite shades out of this whole palette, and it is Pukey. Of course, she would have this shade in her palette, and it is perfect. It is that perfect pukey kind of mustard brown, which I love, and I am taking that kind of in the same motion, but applying a little bit more to the outer corner of the eye, and then sweeping the excess into the crease. Next I'm taking the shade Hunts, which is this beautiful kind of bright orangey red, and I'm taking that on a Sigma E25 brush. It's just a little bit more precise and dense, and I am taking that on the outer corner of the eye first, and then going into the crease with this. I want this to be a little bit more kind of blended out in the outer corner to go a little bit down onto the lid, but I really want that crease shade to be right into the socket of the eye, and this brush is perfect for that. This shade is so intense. It is so beautiful and so crazy pigmented. You only need the tiniest bit. This may be my favorite shade of the mattes at least. <laughs> I wanted to make it a little bit deeper, so I am basically doing the same motions, but with the shade Mocha, and I'm also using that same brush, that Sigma E25. This is a really beautiful, deep, dark chocolate brown, and these two play so beautifully together. So once again, just starting in that outer corner, and then keeping it very, very close into the socket of the eye. And how will we ever feel that while we've got and for the lid, I'm going in with the shade Queen. It is a very beautiful kind of bronzy gold. I feel like it just looks stunning with the matte colors that we have in the crease. And I'm just using a flat Morphe brush here to apply it. And this is dry, so I wanted to see what it would do whenever I wet my brush. So I just spritzed it with a little bit of Fix Plus, and then I am packing it right on top. And you can see it does intensify so beautifully. It just looked so kind of metallic on the eye once I wet my brush and I feel like it just looked stunning. Like these colors are perfect together. And then I'm just going back in and using a tiny, tiny little pencil brush with a shade Abyss and just darkening the very outer part of my eye and I think it just takes it up a notch. You could totally skip this step if you wanted it to be a little bit more subtle. I wanted to go for the drama, and I really wanted to try out this black. It's really beautiful. It's not crazy intense, which I think was the point, so it would be a little bit more wearable and easier to use for the everyday woman, and I really am someone that appreciates that. You could definitely build it up to something super intense, but for everyday, I think it's perfect. And then I'm just going back in with that E25 and blending everything out before I go in with winged liner. And I'm pretty impressed with myself, guys, that I actually got this on camera. You guys know I usually skipped wing liner because I have to be like inches away from my mirror, but I kind of got it on camera. 
kind of. And I'm using the NYX liquid liner here. And then I just threw on some mascara and some lashes. And boom, upper lashes are done. I also went ahead and lined my upper and lower waterline. And now I'm taking the shade Mocha and a flat definer brush and really smoking out that bottom lash line. I try to get this one as close to those lashes and kind of fill in the gaps along the lower lash line just to smoke it out. And then I'm going back in with Hunts to really tie it all in. I love these burnt orange shades to smoke out a lower lash line and I bring it down really far. And then I just applied some mascara to my lower lashes and I thought I would show you guys how I finished off the rest of the face. I'm using Wild Honey Blush from Becca. And then I felt like it was just appropriate since it's Jaclyn's palette to use some champagne pop. And I am just applying that on the highest points of my face, basically all over though, um, the highest points of my cheekbones. I also apply it to the tip of my nose, my chin, and then right above the arch of my brow. And I hadn't used champagne pop in a while in a tutorial, so good timing. For the lips, I wanted to keep it nude, so I am lining them with this lip liner. I know I use it all the time, guys, but it's so good and it's so affordable. It's Rock and Rose from Jordana. And then for nude lipstick, I am just using Blankety from MAC. It is my favorite nude lipstick from MAC. I feel like it's just super flattering. And then I'm going to highlight my eyes. So I used In Light and Beam together. Look how intense that is. I did not expect it to be that intense. That was like the tiniest little swipe on my brush. So I am applying that to the brow bone and then also to the inner corners of the eye. And here it finished. So this is the finished eye look. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is something that I would wear all the time. I just naturally gravitate towards these shades. So I feel like I'm gonna breeze through those really quickly in the palette. But as far as applying them to the eyes, they all went on very, very smooth. They were very buttery and soft and they blended out really nicely. The shimmer shade did do better when my brush was wet, but I feel like that's kind of the same with any kind of shimmery shadow. And I just love them. I love Morphe shadows in general. You guys know that. I use their palettes all the time in my tutorials. So I wasn't surprised by how awesome the shadows were. And it's Jaclyn. She is a perfectionist. So I didn't expect anything less. I am very excited to go ahead and swatch all of the rest of them and see how the pigmentation is because I haven't even swatched any of them. I literally got this in the mail earlier today and I sat down and filmed this video so I could get it up for you guys. And the packaging is very Jaclyn. It's white with silver lettering. I don't want to hold it up too high because it's going to throw off my lights, but it's very Jaclyn. It's cardboard. The only thing that I wish they would have done is put all of the names on the actual palette because if you go through and you watch her video, I have it linked below where she's talking about the palette. All of the shadows have names that are very like sentimental to her. So she took a lot of time to name all of these shadows. I wish it was on there, but yeah. I think they're beautiful and if you would like to see all the swatches of all the shadows in this palette then just go ahead and keep on watching. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me cause I know then you'll see we can be true, we can be true. I want you to see what 